Hey guys, welcome back to Speed of Light, uh, and today uh, we're gonna create this um, this quiz game. So basically, this is this is uh, this is some uh, hardcore, not hardcore, like um, this is just some basic designing uh, and some basic code that that you need to learn. So it's very simple actually, it's way more simple than you think. So if you want, you can add this variable called a score, so which will, which will track your a score. So uh, we'll say score equals to zero, since it, has, since it has a value of zero. So now when this drop down, uh, when this uh, button underscore start is clicked, so when you say button underscore start uh, is clicked, we wanted to uh, set screen to quiz. Uh, and then same goes for the drop down. So be careful in this one. So you know, so when you click on it, it will change, but you want to actually change it. So if it changes, then you want it to, uh, what do you call it? Then you won't want it to uh, set the screen. So if you just click on it, there's no sense because you're not actually changing the drop down. So yeah, uh, so watch that. But anyway, we'll say drop down uh, one. So when this is uh, changed, we want it to uh, set screen to a quiz. So let's try this. So first we'll press run and then there's options. So press quiz and reset and then run again for a start. Okay, so now that's good. Now the user in the, is in the uh, quiz screen. So what does the user want to do? Well. First of all, uh, well not, so basically, so let me show you this first. So you can see that the this button underscore next one kind of looks odd. Well, the reason why is that I hit the element. So what, what, what do I mean by that? Well, there's a specific function. So if you hide the element of a, of a button, radio button, image, etc. If you hide an element of that, then what the thing is that um, it, it will disappear until you give an event to something that makes it reappear. So yeah, uh, I hid the element because the user at least has to uh, choose one radio button, right? So that's why I hid the element. So the user is fo forced to uh, actually uh, choose one. Unlike, uh, uh, unlike if you don't hide the element, they'll just press next if they don't have an answer. So that's not what, that's not what we want to do. So again, this is a would you rather question. So if you really think about it, these type of questions don't really have any, um, th these questions don't have any uh, type of, uh, they don't, they, they don't have uh, any type of answer. So to say, would you rather have a dog or have a cat? So there's no correct answer. To these type of questions, like you can just say dog, I mean a dog or a cat. It 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 just these questions, uh, they don't have an answer. So that's the reason why I'm not gonna put the we're not gonna change the score. We're gonna change it in the true or false questions that I made. So now we'll say radio underscore a cat is clicked. What we want to do uh, is show the element uh, of the button underscore next one. Next, what are you going to do? Well, next, what we're going to do uh, is do the same for the radio underscore dogs. So say radio underscore dog. 
Okay, so now what I want to do uh, is do the same function. So what I have to do is just do that and I'll copy and paste it. I'm going to waste time. Okay, so now we have to create a function for this uh, button underscore next one uh, uh, button. So what, what we want to do is uh, set the screen to uh, quiz two. Now again, you can add way more questions than this. I just added uh, four questions to, so that it so that the, the designing is quick. But I actually designed about one, two, three, four, five. Uh, and six. I designed six screens. So that might sound like uh, very hard or something like that. But in, in fact, it, it's pretty easy. So uh, unless you're doing, uh, unless you're planning some images uh, for a dog or something like that, it'll take a long time because uh, because you have to first find the image and then up upload it, which is kind of a headache. But yeah, if you want to do it the hard way, you can do it. Uh, but the but the code still stays the same. So yeah. Okay. So next one. So let's try this out first of all. So say run, press start, and then there's a would you rather have a cat or a dog? I, I would rather have a dog in my opinion. So dog, next. Good. Now take me to that. So next, we have to pr program the uh, quiz two screen. So I'm just naming the IDs kind of weird. Well, I mean, the IDs are kind of weird because I, I didn't really think about them. But yeah, um, if you want, you can again name the IDs better than me because they sound like quiz two, which sounds a, a little bit odd than quiz. Uh, I mean, uh, then question two uh yeah but anyway uh when we want this radio uh underscore push-ups one want to do uh so the, when this radio underscore push-up is clicked i want to do the same thing show the element of button underscore next two it's so not next one next two so let me just do that and then the same goes for the other on event block. So control V. Um, now, now we'll say, except this is the button. Uh, wait, so let me check the ID real quick to be sure. So uh, this is, um, his button and radio underscore uh, jumping underscore jack. So it's a long ID, I know, but it's way easier. Okay, so now we have to create a function for the uh, button underscore next two. So let me just do, select that. And when this is click, we want to uh, set screen to a qu quiz three. Uh, wait, so not quiz two, quiz three. So this is where we use a score variable that we uh, that, that, that we uh, declared early, earlier. So again, another three on event blocks. Um, wait, let me scroll down. Okay, so it looks good. And then another one. And then another one. All right, so now go to quiz three, and then it's saying is nine times nine equals to eighty four. Well, you know that it's false. Um, yeah, it's false. So nine times nine equals to eighty one. But this is a question, so it's a true or false. So uh, when this button underscore true is clicked, so button underscore uh, true. It's clicked. What I want to do uh, is show the element of button underscore next three, so which is right over here. So show element of button underscore 
next tree. So now I'll scroll down. Wait. Um. Okay, now I'll scroll down and then say button underscore. Uh, let's say a uh, false. So now what we want to do uh, is go to variables and then go up here. Oh yeah, and make sure to do this too. We'll say score. So when button underscore true is clicked, we're gonna say the same value. So we're gonna assign the score variable to, to the same value as it was before. So this is not unneeded, but you have to do this since you're uh, updating the score variable every single time. So that's mo way more efficient. So say, so, but when false is clicked, we'll say score, uh, plus one uh, and then we also want to show the element uh, of we also want to uh, show the element of button score next three so let me copy and paste that check and yep so now next uh, we have to uh, Create a function for the button underscore next three. So let me do that. And then when this plate we want it to set screen. So we're almost done. So say set screen to uh, quiz four, which is the last screen for the quiz. Let's go to quiz score. I, I mean four. So is the first prime number uh, an even number? So Yes, it is true. So now, what we're gonna do is do the opposite as last time. So let me just, uh, so what next, we'll do is do another three on events. Um, okay, so now, what, what we're gonna do next uh, is to say button underscore uh, to two. Uh, is clicked. Uh, we have to show the element. Oh, and by, by the way, we have to first do this. You have to say score equals to score plus one. Score plus one. Okay. Um, so now we'll say um, show the element. And say show the element of the button underscore next four um, is that correct yeah so now um uh so now we're gonna say when button underscore false is clicked we want to uh we wanted to say score equals to score because whatever the previous value was we'll say the same value so it's that pretty simple. Score. Okay, so now we want to show the element, but underscore next uh, four. So let me just copy and paste that again. Uh, and scroll down. On event, so on event, this button underscore uh, next four uh, is clicked. Went to set screen uh, to to the last screen, which is screen underscore result. So this is kind of easy because uh, if you want, you can. So what I did was pretty simple. I just created another label for the score. So what you want to, what you want to do uh, is set text. So I'm gonna set the text uh, at uh, what is this label again? Label score. So, so we wanted to set the text at label score. Uh, label score 
two. So, so you can see that there's those uh, coats. So we're going to erase those coats since we don't need them. So if you put the coats in, it's like a string. So what I mean by that is that it will write, you got a score of score. But we want to actually, whatever variable we keep track of, that's the value we want it from score. So we'll just say score. For a sec, wait. Um, sorry. Um, score. Now let's try it. So now that the complete coding is, oh, uh, wait, there's something wrong here. Uh, line 17, okay, what's wrong with that? Video underscore push-ups? Wait, let me check. So if I remember correctly, that was in quiz three, wait, quiz two. So radio, oh, okay, wait. Wait, it's the wrong ID. So, radio underscore push. Uh, so, that should work. Okay, so now let's clear that. I, I put the wrong ID. Sorry about that, but let's try it now. Home quiz dog next. And we want to say push ups. Uh, it's. So, this is where. So, let's say. So we all know that 9 times 1 equal to 81. So what does we'll say false? we we'll get one point. And I'll say is the first prime number an even number. That's true. So what if you press next? You got a score of 2. So that's good. Uh, it, it, shows the actual, uh, it shows the actual number, which is amazing. So again, you can see that the label uh, position is kind of off. But that's fine because it's still displaying the correct uh, score. So uh, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and this is pretty easy to understand. I just made this. So this, so this is su suitable for beginner uh, coding. But the de designing is kind of a, a kind of a hard thing to recommend to a beginner. Because the designing uh, of a so if if a beginner designs this app, I don't think it will be that good. But uh, anyway, uh, I think everybody should try it.